125 classrooms, six halls, two gyms, and only seven custodians. The job of a heritage custodian is not the easiest. Yes, I really think it's challenging because um, one, I think we're really understaffed um, and I see that daily in the cafeteria. Like we need more of them to make their jobs easier. Um, and uh, you know, there's years where we have a lot of custodians, a full crew as we call it. And then there's years like right now where we're well short of a full crew. And so that just means it's more work for the people that we do have. Um, you know, they could easily, we could easily use four or five more custodians right now. But then just any messes that are created during the day, spills or things like that. The night guys uh, have the most work because once the kids leave, then that's when the real cleaning has to be done. Students like Sanjana recognize the trouble our custodians go through, and she puts in an effort to help them. So for the past four years, I've asked my teachers if to let me come into class just a few minutes late so that I can stay back every lunch and clean up the cafeteria. So in doing that, I see, um, I don't see the same faces every day. I see different faces and I see how, um, how much work they do. And it's just two people cleaning a cafeteria that was filled with um, like hundreds of students, so yeah. And we have, a temp agency provides extra help uh, each night as well. They send two or three people, and those people I don't know because they're different every night coming from the temp agency, yeah. Even though our custodians are getting assistance, their job can still be a bit risky. We're taking a risk, like, we find a lot of blow. Uh, even um, some find uh, I have my finger cut when someone throw a piece of glass and when we pull the trash to the dumps. We have our throats, we have our kids' blood, we have a especially their, um, the restrooms, even, even cafeteria. Cafeteria sometimes is a mess. Sometimes kids, they make a huge mess. Since the custodians keep our school constantly clean, some students may not recognize how important they are. Oh, without a doubt, all, all it would take, yeah, they're important. I mean, if all it would take is for them not to show up for a few days, and everybody would be impacted, like without a doubt. Like every single person in this building without those custodians, if they just took two or three days off, you would feel the impacts immediately. Cleanliness just makes a big impact on us that we don't realize only when the school is messy, we see the difference. When it's clean, it just seems normal. So I think that, yeah, not having them for one or two days would make a really big difference. The custodians do so much for our school, but how do we show we appreciate what they do? Trying to help in like, don't throw gums on the floor. It's one of the headaches, gums, and, and you know, helping us like keep it more clean. Students, um, I see people picking up after their trash mostly, but I think if we all can come together and make a collective effort towards helping um, the janitors, maybe, um, you know, just thank them and show appreciation. Just small words of thank you can make a big difference to them. Yeah, I tell you what, and you know they're they're just, they're human beings like the rest of us. Just be friendly. You know, you see them work in the hall, say hi. You know, you see them take care of something, tell them say thank you, uh, help them out. Like I, I think that's part of the culture of your school is the way you interact with and treat everybody in the building, whether it's students, principals, teachers, you know, coaches, sponsors, directors, custodians, cafeteria workers. Like they're all part of our culture in our building. So be kind, be good to people. I think that's a great idea if we can all um, show appreciation because they deserve it for all the work that they do. They really deserve it. And um, yeah, any small words of kindness can make a big difference. I'm Chastity Samples with Coyote Nation TV.